sailors frequently observed that the icebergs would be traveling in one direction, but the wind would be strongly blowing in the other direction. Now, how's that happening? How are these things that are floating? If you threw out a, a, a raft onto the, to the, to the water, what would happen? And the wind blew to the, to the east, well, then it would blow the raft, and the raft would just go to the, to the east. If you threw out, you know, a little cork to be able to go fishing with, you would watch, and it would just float. So this iceberg's floating. Why does it float against the wind instead of in the direction of the wind? Here's why. Let me show you a picture. Because you only see the tip of the iceberg. And what happens with an iceberg is the current of the water at its depths is stronger than the wind at its surface. Do you see it? It's stronger of a current at its depths than the wind at its surface. So when somebody, when a friend tells you our love is just the tip of the iceberg, now you know what they're talking about. Because the tip of the iceberg, most of the iceberg is underneath. So here's what I say, and wrapping this thing up with us. When we follow the commands of God, when our say and do get closer and closer, when our love and life connect, when our faith is drawing up our obedience, this is the person you become. You become a person of depth that the current of God will take you against the wind of this world. 